There are hundreds of thousands of wonderful environmental initiatives out there that we all support that all aim to protect our Earth. This campaign to make ecocide an international crime can unlock the potential of all of those. In 2010, I proposed into the United Nations that we criminalise ecocide. Ecocide is the extensive damage, destruction to or loss of ecosystems. And what I propose is an amendment to possibly the most important legal document we have in the world, the Rome Statute. That document sets out the existing international crimes. And I propose that ecocide become a standalone international crime alongside genocide, war crimes and crimes against humanity. So how does this work? To amend the Rome Statute, it simply requires a head or heads of state to propose that amendment. Who has the greatest incentive to do that? Small, climate vulnerable states, like the small islands in the Pacific, who are going underwater, who are feeling the sharp end of climate ecocide. But these are the very states that don't have the funds to fly over to The Hague, to New York, to go to the conferences and be present at the International Criminal Court to make that amendment. So our campaign is funding them, and it's funding them on the basis of a legal document, a trust fund document. When you sign up, you're gifting funds to help this process, but you're also legally becoming an earth protector. So in a few short months, with a tiny team of volunteers, we've really come a long way. We've accompanied small island representatives into the International Criminal Court, We've created enormous visibility in the United Nations. This is a legacy mission like no other. It stops the cycle of harm at the highest level and it unlocks the potential of countless other initiatives to protect our Earth. We really would love you to be part of this. Sign up as an Earth Protector at missionlifeforce.org and spread the word in your personal networks. Jojo, oh, okay. what on earth are we doing this? <laughs> Why are you doing it? <laughs> because, you know, for me, I really recognise the historic significance of this. This is, this is going to be huge. And I, I have my skills as a lawyer that I can put to good use here. And that's what I'm doing. But, you know, it's more than that. I can't square it with my conscience to walk away from this. Mm -hmm. What about for you? For me, I think I came to this through my children. You know, yeah. they, they're going to be growing up in this world. It's going to be a world that we have no idea what it's going to look like. And like you, I cannot sit by and see serious harm continuing, knowing that my children are going to grow up in that. And so for me, it's about the earth as I know it, but it's also about the earth that's going to be lived in by the future generations, by our children and our children's children. <laughs> we're going to make it happen. We are. How are we going to find people who can help us make it happen? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so help make us happen. <laughs>